Hi, everybody. This is Cheryl Aram. Welcome to Person Centered Cyber. Again, to save time, I'm taking shortcuts to get a lot of the concepts that I don't explicitly work with every day as a cyber policy analyst. Okay, especially, you know, I work mainly with RMF. So much of these uh, technical things I, um, I, I, I really don't work with every day. So one shortcut is to ask myself, well, how does the user see this thing? For example, SAML. SAML, Security Assertion Markup Language, has popped up in several practice questions. So to really quickly understand it when I see it on the exam and without getting too, too technical, I ask myself, well, how does everybody experience SAML? Well, they experience it like this. I love the process of single sign-on. Single sign-on has been sent from the Lord on high, okay? Uh, as much as y'all know, I don't like making up all these passwords and stuff because my memory is trash, all right? So the user experience objective for SAML or SSO is to allow me and you to authenticate one time and gain access to separately secured systems without, you know, resubmitting a username and password, okay? I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I use it all the time. And I know there's vulnerabilities regarding that, but guess what? There's vulnerabilities with me trying to get a, a brand new password for everything I have, you know? That's so, so which one are we gonna go with here, all right? I prefer to go with single sign-on, okay? At least in, in, in my case. Uh, so here's another one, radius. Okay, radius has come up a lot uh, uh, in CAS Plus. And I remember this from previous exams, all right? But I never really looked for the user experience for radius. It was all about this back office technical, you know, the client, the second authentication and stuff. Now I get radius and I get SAML, okay? So um, I'm sure questions regarding that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do pretty well on. But for those things where you're kind of struggling, you know, this, then just ask yourself, well, how does the, how do users see this? People who don't work in IT, they don't care about cyber. Like, you know, how do they experience these kinds of things? Here's another one, thick client and thin client. Now, I've never seen thick client on exam. At least I don't remember seeing it, but thin client is on everything, okay? And I didn't get it at first. I, I got the question right on the test, but I did not get what a thin client was, right? But Find, well, how would I experience thin client? Okay, now a thick client is just my computer. Okay, M many of y'all know what that is because I can take it offline and I can still use it. I can still make, you know, type stuff up, create documents. I can save it because I have my own operating system. I have my own um, uh, what do you call that? I have my my hard drive. I have all that on my own. Okay, but a thin client. So here, here I have as an example. A uh, Kali undercover, which makes the Kali UI look like Windows 10. Now, this now Windows 10 is not installed on my Kali machine. Okay, this is a thin client. All right, there's no Windows 10 OS on here and and all that stuff. And it's a thin client in that yeah, I can't even do anything, you know, in, in Windows here. But it's uh, it pulls from something else. All right, uh, we use a VDI, and I can't for the life of me remember what that stands for but we use vdi you know which is a thin client so if when i turn on my vdi my virtual desktop interface is that what it's called when i turn that on i can work on it i can you know do documents and send email and all that stuff but the second i shut that thing down all of that is gone nothing is saved on it at least the one that we have you know the way that it works so so tomorrow Tomorrow, when I open it back up, it's like I'm starting all over again with a brand new computer, okay? Because nothing is on my thick client here. Nothing is on my actual machine. It's all on another um, server, like, as you can see in these diagrams, okay? So that's all I have for the user experience, and I'll see you all back here with another topic.